Welcome to our Arran Revisited tour. After our first brief glimpse of the beautiful Arran, we were desperate to go back. We are Graham, Ellie, Jazz and Luna and Maya. This is our camper van Merlin. Join us as we explore this magical island. Last time we left you we were having a look at the highest viaduct in the UK. Now we're back at the site we thought we'd give you a quick look round. You can book this site through Park for Night, Search for Sites or what we did at Pitch Up. Our booking was all done online and you pay a small deposit to Pitch Up. When we arrived on site we were able to choose our pitch which was lovely. The total amount that we paid was £40 for two nights. That included the dogs. As we've enjoyed it so much here, Ellie is going to give you a quick look round the site. As it's my turn to cook tonight, there's a Chinese coming up. I'm just going to give you a quick overview so that you can decide if you'd like to come and stay here. We've been really impressed with it. As I say, the only slight downside is you do get traffic noise from the A road just there, but it does calm down overnight and it didn't disturb us at all in the end. In here, you've got a really big area for washing, you're doing your dishwashing. And they do offer recycling as well, which I'm really impressed with, because often on sites of this size, you end up just being able to throw away stuff in one place. And I must admit, as I'm a bit of a keen recycler at home, it's nice to be able to do that when we're away in Merlin. There is an LSAM point as well. Um, it's quite a walk away, but I think you know what one of those looks like. But this is the main area with the toilets and everything. Yes. It does look very cosy, doesn't it? It's a lovely room. I'm not sure whether how it works quite. <laughs> it's mainly for social gatherings and you can bring your own food and drink here or warm yourself up by the fire. Very handy if you're just in a tent. There's one shower, like this. It looks really nice and clean. Electric shower, no extra charge for it, which is good. Spotlessly clean. And the ladies' toilet, a couple of toilets, quite nice with all the uh, log cabin style. And there's reception, you phone reception when you arrive, phone numbers on the board. And main reception. Meanwhile, more importantly than all of that, the takeaways arrived. What have you got, Great. I've got sweet and sour chicken Hong Kong style with chips. And we've got some boiled rice, which I think we'll share. Mm -hmm. And what have you got? I've got vegetables in black bean sauce. Vegetables in black bean sauce. Mm, I'm looking forward to this. Looks like really lot nice big chunks of veg in there as well. Yeah, and we're trying to uh, do this without using plates to avoid yeah. washing up. <laughs> so we won't show you the mess we get into. Oh, I'm not sure how we're going to get on. No, but the chips look good. Yeah, help yourself to my chips, mm. why don't you? Oh, I will. <laughs> don't mind me. Mm. Right. Oh, it smells good. Dazzy's face. Not taking her eyes off those chips. She likes chips. <laughs> We've since found out that she absolutely loves chips. Well, it's been a long day. We've done a lot of walking. We've all got full bellies. It's time for bed. Now that's brave. There's somebody sleeping up the top there. I bet that's damn cold up there. And it turns out there's two adults in there. Ooh, I wouldn't fancy sitting on that seat where we had our coffee this morning. Can you see the frost on it? Whew. That is cold. Hey, look at the sky. Another beautiful day here in Scotland. Very, very cold, but beautiful. Lovely colours going on over there. 
So today's the day we get the ferry. Wonder what the girls will think of that. Especially Jazz, I don't expect she's been on a boat in her life. You see that bird in the tree over there? It's sort of silhouetted against the sky. Let's see if I can zoom in. There he is, look. Looks like a big fat wood pigeon to me. See you later, Mr. Bird. Don't know if you can see the frost on the grass, but I'm going for an early shower. And boy, is it cold. There's Merlin. Very frosty grass. Ooh. It's Saturday morning, our last day at uh, Katrine House campsite. And uh, oh boy, was it cold last night. <laughs> Um, I mean, we, we were warm in Merlin, but I think the, the heating had to work quite hard to, to keep it warm. Just show you outside. Frost is starting to go a bit now, but uh, still there a bit. But yeah, this morning, Ellie and I, we uh, took advantage of the, of the showers and that here. Um, they're really nice, aren't they? They are. Um, yeah. What's really good about them is that the, the rooms are heated, aren't they? Yeah, this time of the year you need that, yeah. February. Mm -hmm. And also they're electric showers that you can just adjust the temperature and the duration so you can have a really good shower yeah. without having to keep pressing a button. And, and they're included in the price, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, you don't have to pay any extra, pay any extra for, them, for yeah. them, which we think at this time is, is a pretty good thing with all the prices going up for everything. But yeah, walking yeah. up to the shower was a real Wim Hof moment, I think. <laughs> yeah, we found this, um, this was on um, uh, Pitch, what was it called? Um, pitch Up? Pitch Up, yeah. Pitch up. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think it works out at £20 a night, but I had to pay the campsite £36, because Pitch Up get the rest. But uh, yeah, so... Really, really nice, quite quite cheap for two nights. Yeah, so what, it was £40 over the two yeah, nights? Yeah. yeah, so that was, yeah. Yeah, I I, did, that was confusing the way yeah. I said that, wasn't I, it? I think, I think that's brilliant though, isn't yeah. it? To, to include electric, electric cook up yeah. and everything, and also And when you showers. think about it, the way we've been using the electric on the pitch yeah. to keep the van warm, it's, uh, I doubt if they can make very much money. No, I mean, we had, the obviously the electric heating on the CV isn't as, hot as the gas the gas will always get the van hotter yeah quicker it's a, it's, yeah hotter and quicker it's a gentle heat um i mean it's only 19.8 degrees in the van at the moment and the heating's on full both full electric and full heat so it's it is quite a gentle process to get the van up to temperature but yeah it didn't cut out at all overnight normally i'm used to the heating cutting in and out as the van reaches yeah. temperature but yeah because we set it lower it, than it that kept overnight. running yeah. kept running throughout the night yeah so obviously very cold yeah but we were cozy weren't we yes we were and jazz had a good night didn't she yeah our little poochie yeah she was very good yeah. she hasn't moved off of the uh off of her bed this morning no yet. no she did sort of have a little wine about uh, 7.15, I think it was, to get me up to cover her up. Cause, oh, come and cover me yeah, up. Yeah, I thought, well, she must need to go out. No, no, she was just uncovered and a bit cold, so I had to come out and put yeah. a blanket over her. Yep, you've fallen on your feet, lass, haven't you? And today um, we're heading over to, uh, to, to Ardrossan to get the ferry over to Brodick on Arran. Mm. And, uh, yeah, that ferry's not too... Quite three, late, three, three, three twenty, I think like it that. is. Yeah, we've got yeah. to be there about ten to three. Yeah. yeah. So we've got a nice leisurely day. We're gonna have breakfast now, and then we're set off. Mm. Um, hope the uh, warning light on uh, Merlin's uh, dash panel for check engine doesn't come back on, but uh, got a feeling it will. Mm. Well, the underlying problem hasn't changed, no, has it? The, we the need... RA, RAC guy reset it. But uh, yeah, if it measured that the oil quality was, was poor before, it will still be poor. Yeah, it'll pick it up again, won't so it? So we will see on that. But he said it's safe to drive, mm. even if the light does come on. But for our duration of this trip, and then yeah, it needs to be yeah. serviced as soon as, really. But it's due a service anyway, so I think yeah. it's Merlin's way of say, stamping his feet yeah. and saying, get me serviced. Get me serviced. Yeah. It's breakfast time. I think nothing too ambitious, cold stuff really, but tasty. Ellie's got similar. Yeah, more seeds, more nuts. You know yeah. me. Part, part girl. Vegan. Part, part girl, part squirrel. <laughs> part girl, part squirrel. Part girl, part well, nuts. God, I've got to be careful, haven't I? <laughs>
Oh, where's that quip when you need it? <laughs> We're just having a quick walk before we uh, hit the road to Kilmarnock and Ardrossan. I'd like to, I wouldn't mind staying here a bit longer, but mm. we've got other things to do. Yeah, it's one of those sites where it's quite relaxing, isn't it, to be yeah. here. Morrison's parked in their car park at the moment, just uh, filled up with LPG, took a, a massive £2.31 to fill the tank up with LPG. <laughs> just an update on the, uh, the warning light that we had coming on. Um, as you probably know by now, the RAC guy came out and he reset it. Uh, so far we've done about 20 miles and it's not come back on. I have to say I am expecting it to come back on. It'd be nice if it doesn't. But uh, it's likely to, I think, if, if the reason that it uh, came on before was the oil quality, well, that hasn't changed, so it'll probably come back on again. Anyway, that's an update on that. Ellie's uh, gone into Morrison's just to get us something too uh, simple to eat tonight. Then we're on our way to find somewhere for the dogs to have a walk. And then onwards to the uh, uh, Ardrossan port, port to, uh, to catch the ferry over to Arran. But that's about two or three hours away. We stopped up at Morrison's, Graham put LPG in Merlin, and uh, we're off to find a little country park in North Ayrshire somewhere just to have lunch because we're a little bit too early for the ferry. Right, we've got about uh, five miles to go to the country park. I don't know what that's like, but. Uh, Good to see these places, isn't it? It is. We always like to find somewhere creative to eat our sandwiches, don't we? Yes, dear? we do. Not like to miss an opportunity, do we, dear? <laughs> no. <laughs> and also, it'll give the girls a chance to stretch their legs before we get in the queue for the ferry later. So this is where we are right now. So we're just coming off the A78. And it's actually quite close to where we're going to park up for lunch at the country park. See the sign for it there? Eglinton Country Park. With a name like that, it sounds like uh, an expensive car park, doesn't it? It does. Eglinton Country Park. Oh, look, there's a sign coming up on the left there. Oh, it does look very posh, doesn't it? Hmm. My goodness, it looks like they've got a cafe as well. It's reduced opening in the winter. They shut at 3.30. Oh, 
makes sense. Little fella out for his walk. Do you mean the dog or the, or the man? <laughs> <laughs> A long drive in. Oh, they've made that look very pretty. I like the daffodil. See the play park through the trees? Looks very popular today as it's so sunny. They don't seem to have specific uh, spaces for camper vans. I'm not blocking anybody in. I'm not blocking anyone in and just taking up one space. Oh, well, that's good. Result, darling. <laughs> this is a pretty perfect place for us to stop as it's just seven miles from Ardrossan. So you can walk around the edge there, or you can walk through the woods there. It's nice here, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely, yeah. Old tree is like a, a face in that tree over there. Look. Oh, yeah, it's that big bulbous thing. Yeah, Let's see if I can zoom in. There you go, there's a face in the tree. <laughs> I love it here, it's really nice. It's quite busy today because it's such a lovely sunny day, yeah. but you can't blame it. You know, it's nice. You have to make the most of it, don't you, when it's like this. Look at these lovely crocuses, or croci. It's beautiful. Spring's coming. It's round the corner. These are gorgeous. Look at that. And there's your man with three dogs. <laughs> well, that is the lead. Yeah, that's all right. What do you call a man with three dogs? I don't know, is that a joke? It could be. <laughs> what do you call a man with three dogs? Three dog jobs. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Chway Maya, do we go left, do we go right, or do we go straight ahead? Which way are you going? Which way are you going? You choose. Go on then. Which way? <laughs> she can't make her mind up. Oh, left, is it? These are lovely little walks though, aren't they, where they've marked all the paths out. Very accessible too. If you were in a wheelchair or, or if you've got children in buggies, you could enjoy being in the woods but still be able to have a fairly smooth and flat path to go along. Actually, there are three short circular routes 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and one of 60 minutes. You're right, Lulu. We've kept Jazz on the lead for this walk because she can sometimes run off a little bit we don't want to run any risk with all the dogs in the park our girls tend to be quite sensible about things like that most of the time and jazz is quite sensible but if she gets a sniff of something she'll be off try that lovely uh, walkway there with the trees i don't know if you can see it there, that looks nice, doesn't it? But this is lovely when all the leaves are out. Look at this tower. Looks like an old castle. Need to find out what this is, Grey. Yeah, I think there might be a beacon on the top as well. Yeah, is that what that wire structure yeah, is? So. <laughs> Hi, all right. Hi. Oh, you're lovely, aren't you? They're beautiful. Our dogs have gone downstairs to explore. Hello girls. Let's have a look. The original Eglinton Castle was burned down in 1528. It was destroyed by a rampaging mob. The remains of the castle now stand like a romantic folly in the middle of the country park. Wow. This used to be the family seat of the Montgomerys. You can just see a river in the distance. Yeah, there's a little bridge that goes over oh, there. I yeah. think we can walk along the river. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, there's a lady coming back with her dog. 
Oh, you could have a really good explore around here. Shame we haven't got a bit more time here. I know. This is just a whistle back. stop, yeah. But this is the perfect stopover when you're waiting for the ferry, though, isn't it? Yeah. You know, if you've got a few hours to wait, you could come here, walk your dogs if you've got them, or just go for an explore or a coffee and yeah, a cafe. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It is good. Really good. So, do you want to go on any more, Gray, or have we got to head back, do you think? I think we should head back now. Okay, we're heading back to Merlin now. So we've got hopefully a little bit of time to have our lunch before we go and join the queue for the ferry. But it is nice here. I definitely would like to come back and explore. Some very excited dogs in this park. As you can see. <laughs> One very excited dog. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> Sun's coming out. Birds are singing. And I can see Merlin's roof in the distance. And we're back. Mind your chin, Jazz. Mind your chin. Oh. <laughs> you have to go together, you're tangled. <laughs> and it's lunch time. So the girls have to have a snack as well, if we have a snack. Maya's eaten hers, Jazz has eaten hers, and Luna's eating hers. Is that nice, Lou? It sounds nice. I can hear you crunching it. And we've got a meal deal from Morrison's. So I've got some vegan sushi. Graham's got a ham and cheese sandwich, crisps and a smoothie. And we're off to the ferry port at Artrossum. There's a visitor centre to the right. There's a very fine horse outside, stone horse. <laughs> it's a shame we didn't have longer to stop, really. Wherever we go, we're taking control. The future is ours now. Never ends, it's me and my friends. These are the good times. And I, I'm feeling like I could go on forever. And I, been running out of air, so let me catch my breath. Feeling now, that's making me crazy. If I'm having a good time, don't you blame me. It's making me crazy, making me crazy So, I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive I'm just gonna drive, drive Thank you very much. It was very easy this time. That was easy, wasn't it? It was. They didn't measure Merlin, did they? No. They just told us lane number one, which is the one we were in before. Now 
find a big auto trailer patch. So there, simple. Little dot you can see in the distance is the ferry on its way over from Arran. Oh, I can see a boat coming. Not too long to wait now, hopefully. Maya and Luna know what's happening. Well, what are they doing? Well, Maya was just panting. She stops as soon as I start to film, but <laughs> they're both wide away. Oh, there she goes again. I think Maya knows. She must have seen the boat through the window or something. <laughs> Jazz has no idea what's coming because she's fast asleep in her little bed. I just can't really see much down there, bless her down in the basement and we're still waiting hoping we'll get a space for the doggies we're really intrigued now we seem to be the last ones getting on and it's our turn yay yes well, we're actually the last ones to get on the boat aren't we Gray? yeah which is strange considering we were third in the queue. <laughs> yeah, there must be a reason for it. Yeah. It's a different boat to last time. It doesn't look quite as big. It's called the Isle of Arran, the boat. Quite apt. Wait for the bomb. Made it onto the ferry. Poor little Jazz had to run up the stairs and they're very big steps, aren't they? I think Luna got carried, I'm not sure. Did you carry yeah, Luna carried up? Much, yeah. And Maya ran up the stairs as well, didn't you Maya? Hey? You're a good girl. Yes. Yeah, here we are. We've got two on the lap, one on the floor. <laughs> little bit of anxiety going on here. <laughs> what do you think of it being on a boat? Mm, what do you reckon Jazz? Luna's shaking like a jelly. I don't know if this is a sign that Maya's found her sea legs but she's actually lying down. I've never seen her do that before on a ship. Well, thanks so much for watching. We're going to leave this one here. Make sure you join us on the island of Arran in future episodes. We see sea, seals, wild camps and the Aurora Borealis. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you want to join our Facebook group, just do a search Wizard in the Wild on Facebook and click join. If you want to buy a treat for the doggies, there is a link in the description below.